Wow, I bet playing three characters at once is hard. For you, maybe. Anyway, My Little Pony, Fake It Till You Make It, is actually a really good episode. And the reason for that is fairly simple. It nails the humor. Considering humor is 90% of its content, that's important. Now, reviewing pure comedy is actually fairly difficult, as evidenced by my lack of Ruby Chibi reviews. But, Fake It Till You Make It is a complex enough blend that I think it's worth a shot. Let's start by looking at the core gimmick of the episode. After Rarity gives Fluttershy control of her Manhattan shop, the Shy One develops three different personas to help her sell to her pompous, opinionated customers. In fact, she's so committed to her method acting that it's very nearly psychosis. All three of them are funny and a blast to watch, and there are a number of different reasons for this. First off, all three of them are very different from Fluttershy herself, who's a demure, shrinking violet. This attitude is a real contrast with her exaggerated personas. On top of that, the personas themselves are amusing caricatures. The first is a parody of pretentious sophisticates, not unlike the general portrayal of high society you see on shows like Frasier. The Shy One's next persona is an obnoxious hipster valley girl. Finally, my personal favorite is a self-important goth. You know, the kind that act as if they're the first ones to discover the existence of pain and suffering. All of them are a lot of fun to watch, as they exemplify the worst aspects of their particular subculture. The final layer on this gimmicky cake is something not unlike schadenfreude, i.e. the idea that the pain and suffering of others is funny. It's manifested here by Fluttershy being deliberately rude, insensitive, and unkind. To put this style of humor in context, it's why chaotic evil characters in D&D burn down orphanages. It's why Handsome Jack mocking the poor, starving people of Pandora is funny. And it's a major reoccurring humor style of Dr. House. Also Fallout. A lot of this stuff in Fallout. There's a fine line between being a lovable jerk and just a plain old jerk classic. I find it's better if you have an easy target to go after. Lawyers are a great punching bag, the same with politicians. In this specific case, the pretentious customers are the ones in Fluttershy's crosshairs. But it still works in small doses against the main six and the raccoon family. Now on to the other comic stylings. Fake It Till You Make It makes good use of over-the-top reactions. One of the best examples is how everyone freaks out over calling the raccoons rodents. It's funny because they are. But there are also some nice over-the-top moments from Rarity and Random Shop Ponies. Next, I hate to use the word physical comedy for this, but it's more like visual gags. The reoccurring instant costume changes and Fluttershy basically appearing out of nowhere is hilarious. And I think that covers about all of the comedy. Now let's end by looking at the character moments. This is kind of a be yourself slash be confident in who you are thing. Now, is that something Fluttershy has dealt with before? Yes, it absolutely is. But you know what? I don't mind the problem rearing its ugly head over and over again. Sometimes you just have a lifelong problem. You know, the only real complaint I have about the episode is the shoehorning in of the main cast. Do we really need everyone for this? It could have just been rarity. Okay, now it's time to break down the good and the bad in My Little Pony, Fake It Till You Make It. On the good side, it's funny. It's funny in many ways. It's funny for many reasons. And if you want to laugh, it's good for that. On the other hand, if the style of humor isn't for you, this episode will crash and burn. And also, I'm calling foul on the excessive use of main cast. But for me, I like the humor, so I'm going to give My Little Pony, Fake It Till You Make It, a 4.5 out of 5. Now, if you're interested in more reviews of anime, movies, TV shows, comic books, or video games, check out my channel right here on YouTube. And find my Facebook and DeviantArt pages for video updates and more. Thank you for watching. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.